Hello and welcome. My name is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations, and we're going to be discussing today the advancement in, in our consciousness. So let's begin where we can begin, where conscious evolution started evolving that we know of. First, we started seeing drawings and paintings, and that's how people would write stories, is on caves and rocks and in the earth. We see um, things written on the ground that we can't see except for way far up in the air from a, an airplane or a helicopter or something high up in the air. Then we move into more of the ancient civilizations like, um, well, the ones that we know of are Greece and um, some in Europe and uh, the Egyptians. The Egyptians wrote all of their walls and we've got um, parchment from the times of like biblical times. We've got those parchments that we're able to decode and decipher and be able to read and put down in modern day language. And we are able to see what consciousness was doing at that time moving forward. Now we did lose a lot of information when we lost the um, museum in Alexandria or the um, the storehouse for all of the knowledge it seemed like where all the papers and scrolls and things were at in Alexandria and um, because history is that way, it was destroyed. And so with it, a lot of people believe the um, information from Atlantis and Lemuria and possibly other places were destroyed. And so we're not able to know what the, what the um, evolution was as far as that goes from those times forward. But because we do have the Egyptian, which from reading certain um, works by authors and people that study that, it seems like a lot of those people were actually from Atlantis and Lemuria, like when their land was going to be destroyed, some people were able to have um, visions of this happening, and so few of them left, and maybe just because they wanted to and they wanted to travel, just like we do today, they moved forward and they traveled to places like the Mayan area and the Egyptians and went over into Asia in certain places that they were able to spread their knowledge and be able to advance the consciousness as it was. Now, going from that time period where that consciousness, even in Egyptian times, what we're able to see is that people believed in an afterlife, people believed in metaphysics in their own ways, people, even the Mayans, um, believed in certain things. And so we're able to decipher some of those where they were in consciousness wise. Now, when we start moving forward from that time, our consciousness changed a little bit and there was reasons for it to do so. We went from a very mystical or um, very, en not enlightened, but a very spiritual type of consciousness and then we evolved into a more material based consciousness so there was a lot of material things going on very into perfecting or um, finding out more about the material world more about how to make things go how to advance our knowledge in that way we became very materialistic to the fact where we what started stopped living in communities so much that we started living separate and um, more concerned about ourself and our own advancement and moving forward in that way even up until about 2010 ish time frame maybe a little sooner than that um we see where 
I don't want to say it's all about me, but it kind of was all about me type of attitude and just really progressing. I mean, you saw huge advancements in um, automobiles. You saw huge advancements in house constructions. You saw huge advancements in farming. You saw huge advancements in technical like phones and televisions and cell phones came about and computers got very tiny and so you see that materialistic consciousness now moving forward into 2010 maybe even as early as 2000 maybe some people earlier than that it is an individual thing but the evolution of the consciousness progressed to such as in 2010 we started shifting into a more global mindset a more global and even universal mindset then once we hit the 2012 mark, December 2012, you saw the huge shift in consciousness, the huge shift in the evolution of our consciousness. Not only did we almost really shift from that materialistic look on things, but we shifted into a more global community type of consciousness, our connectedness, our oneness with all, with the universe and everything. And when this happens, it was like we took a step back. It was almost like we went back to the ancient times when there was more, more emphasis on the spiritual, the metaphysical, the mystic, and then, but we capitalized on all the things that we have now that moved the human race, the human being, the human platform of earth forward in such a way that we are able to use the internet to learn more. We're able to read lots and lots of books. We're able to travel easier due to that materialistic viewpoint consciousness then we're able to move around a lot easier to gain more knowledge to to learn more to be able to act on that knowledge to be able to help the world the whole population whether it's the human beings of earth or it is the animals of earth or it's the plants or anything, the land itself, water, the mountains, anything. So that consciousness really took a big shift in December of 2012. Now, it is individual. The awakening is individual. So each person awakens to their own evolutionary consciousness at their own time. It's always there, but some are still in that materialistic standpoint, and um, that causes a little bit of disbelief or chaos because it is change, and sometimes change is scary. And instead of being open to that change, it's almost like they plug their ears and say, la, 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 la. I'm not going to listen. And some people get very defensive and upset when confronted with these things because we're not taught to believe in those things. A lot of us were raised in religious sections that didn't allow for the thought advancement. It was that we were kept in a little box and not that religion is bad or anything, but with the evolution of consciousness, that very close-minded thought process is probably no longer going to serve a lot of people. A lot of people, that's why I call it the awakening, even though it's kind of a reawakening or a reconnection or relearning of the, of our true being, of our true 
conscious being that we are eternal, that we are spiritual beings having a human experience here on earth. There's a reason why we are having that experience, which lends to your own transpersonal awakening. Your own transpersonal awakening specifies almost how you're going to be contributing to the overall evolution of consciousness as we know it going forward. With that transpersonal awakening, your very personal transpersonal awakening, you are relearning your oneness with God and the universe and all that is including each and every human being on the planet, each and every animal's consciousness on the planet, and each and every thing that is on this planet and in the cosmos. So it's huge, it's huge, and a lot of people think it's so huge, I just can't even, I can't even wrap my brain around it which is good because we're not trying to wrap our brain around it. What we're really trying to do is we're trying to open, open ourselves up to just the information, just being able to let the ideas come in and just kind of ponder that. That's why meditation is so key and so important because at that moment, you're quieting the mind. And when you quiet the mind and avert the distractions around you, you're able to open up your mind, open up your heart, and open up your soul self again to be able to receive those thoughts and ideas that will actually help you and everyone be able to accept their gifts and be able to offer those gifts out into the world no matter how small you think it is or how large you think it is, it's your gift to give to the world and consciousness as we know it and moving forward. So this is just some ideas on where consciousness, where the evolution of consciousness has happened. We've gone from just cave writings on walls to the Egyptians, Atlantis, Lemuria, Rome and England and all those areas where we've seen beautiful pictures and what they believed at that time into a more materialistic standpoint on consciousness and the brain thinks. And so we put the ideas out there as far as technology and oh gosh, just so much stuff that the building of airplanes, the building of buildings even, um, the advancement in farming, things like that into now we're going into that transpersonal awakening to that past 2012 more connected consciousness and moving forward that way. And while you're awakening, you're able to harness and access your gifts a lot easier and then be able to share it with yourself and those around you and the world at large and the universe at large and beyond. So thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon. Take care and have a wonderful afternoon, evening, or morning, whatever it is in your area at this time. Take care. I'm sending you love, light, and eternal blessings. Till next time. Bye.